Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Thomas Simpson. I, too, would like to thank Shiz for all your encouragement and support. And I also would like to pay homage to all the fellow artists who are part of this book. This is the first book that I've been privy to be a part of, my first anthology. This is the first time I've read. This is the first time I've read this piece in public. So I invite you to go on this journey with me for a part of it. San Francisco, Live Up to Your Name by Thomas Robert Simpson. It was a very nice day in September on August the 10th, 2013. That morning, my theater company, Afro Solo, hosted a community health fair to help underserved youth and families in the Western Edition to prepare for the new school year. This San Francisco neighborhood has had a difficult past. And for every year since 2006, Mo Magic, a collaboration of neighborhood-based nonprofits organization, holds a back-to-school celebration at the Ella Hill Hutch Community Center, an oasis for youth in the area. To reward myself for weeks of hard work organizing the health fair, I planned to attend a concert that evening presented in, con in conjunction with the America's Cup yacht race being held in San Francisco. It was about six o'clock. I began walking towards the Fisherman Wharf to attend the concert. I was in a good mood. I had a great day. I had a good nap and a shower. I was excited to attend the concert. Knowing that San Francisco would be chilly that evening, I wore a fedora, turtleneck sweater, cashmere sweater, soft black leather jacket, dress pants, and my Chelsea leather boots, all black in color. I was walking forward, I was looking forward to a real treat. The soulful rock group War was headlining the concert with the comedy team Cheech and Chong as special guest. Walking down Market Street, I began humming War's big hits. Cisco Kid was a friend of mine, <laughs> along with the world is a ghetto. <laughs> then I went into slipping into darkness. <laughs> I could hardly wait. As I neared the foot of Market Street, I luxurated at the sight of San Francisco's iconic ferry building, the historic Hyatt Hotel, and the impressive Embarcadero buildings. I turned left on market, off market onto Davis Street. Moving toward Washington, I saw or glimpsed the sight of two figures. Getting closer, I saw the figures were a young white man and woman. They looked to be in their late teens, early 20s. It appeared that they had been traveling for a while. They had a couple of rolled up sleeping bags and a few plastic bags stuffed with other belongings. I didn't see a cup or a sign asking for money. Walking by them, I tipped my hat, oh, friendly hello. By then, why can't we be friends? <laughs> was playing in my head. <laughs> I kept walking. About a few hundred steps past them, I thought I heard grrr, focused on the music and excited about the concert. I thought I was hearing things. Then I heard nigger. Denial and hope can do strange things. I said to myself, no, you didn't hear that. This is San Francisco. Get to the concert. A few seconds later, I heard, nigger, go back to where you came from. Wow, there was no escaping it now. I heard what I heard. I could not ignore or deny it. 
He was yelling at me. No one else was around. First came fear. Is he going to attack me, shoot me, or what? Then I heard, you ought to kill yourself. If you don't, I will. Then came anger. Who was he? Who was he shouting at me like this? He didn't know me. I didn't know him. His verbal attack made me feel furious. All of a sudden, L.A. Cool J song, Mama Said Knock You Out, <laughs> pounded on my head. I turned around and headed back to confront him. He was looking straight at me. We were about 100 yards apart. My steps picked up speed. My heart started beating faster. My eyes glued to his, knock you out. Mama said, knock you out, grew louder and louder in my head. All of a sudden, another voice invaded my mind. What are you doing? I responded, I'm going to knock that sucker out. What are you doing, came again. Going to fight, I responded. Responded, No, you're not, the voice said. Look at him. Where will he be sleeping tonight? What will he be eating? You've got too much to lose. Get over it. Let it go. Turn around, the voice ordered. I didn't. Turn around, came again. Reluctantly, I turned around and headed toward the concert. I'm Thomas Simpson. Thank you. <laughs>